welcome back to our channel. Today is a Saturday at the end of summer. It's coming to that time of year again where we just need to have summertime some sadness. <laughs> summertime sadness. We just need to have some spa recuperation time. I also got a stomach flu this week, which basically wreaked havoc on this week. Wreaked havoc on my entire mental physical existence and, <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just starting to feel better i got it on mon monday yeah, yeah and now it's, it's saturday, now saturday so we're trying to have a oh, just chill weekend of recuperating and today we're gonna do it's been a long time since we just had like a traditional girls spa time spa day so today we're gonna do that we're gonna, we're gonna do a face mask we're gonna do a little meditation a little stretching video because if you know Barfing really just clenches all of your muscles in your entire body, so I've been sore all week, and I just want to stretch, do like a good long stretching video. Yeah, so we're gonna do some stretching, some praying, some just like quiet, silent time, and we're getting the shower, and then we're gonna also catch up with you guys because we haven't talked a lot on this channel and like caught up. Just like summer has been really eventful, and we have been blogging a little bit, but like and that's another we reason why this is gonna be a good thing to do is because summer has been so eventful that you just never get time to just like calm and not have to be like go 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 and doing stuff mm -hmm. so this is gonna be some relaxation time first step to our spa day is gonna clean your room it got into a little bit it doesn't of, look that messy right now from the camera but it's just not feeling that good yeah it's feeling kind of drab in here just got into a little bit of a state since there it was just kind of like sick room for the whole week i don't know they're just a few things we need to take care of we get it cleaned up this is the the order that we're gonna go right. we're gonna clean our room then we're gonna right, pray a couple, rosaries. a couple rosaries finish our rosaries for the day and then we're going to start our stretching video and put on a face mask have some meditation time Talk and then you guys yeah chat with you guys maybe make yourself a little fresh lunch mm -hmm. so the, those are the plans <laughs> Play chill summer songs. <laughs> like her back when I was a Pilates girl. Oh. We'll just put the thumbnail on right here if you guys want to do it. Looks like it's a pretty thorough stretch, but yeah, we're just gonna get some stretch mints. So hopefully it's enough. It's just aloe, honey, and lemon juice for glowy I feel like that's skin. gonna be enough for one person. Just gonna apply that with two fingers while we catch up with you about all the things we've been doing this summer. What we've been doing, just some things that we've Ooh. been- Ooh, it's chilly. Things that we've been enjoying recently. Yeah, that's nice. Ah, oh. oh, it feels good. You can't even see it, but it's just- It's basically just aloe and then it has honey and lemon in it too. Um, but in summer vibes lately, we've been watching the Olympics, which we watched the Olympics with the Olympic Reese's. Mostly just from Ralph. gymnastics. I'm mostly just from that gymnastics viewing girl. Yeah, we watch gymnastics. Also, a little Cindy bit of the McLaughlin race yeah, was McLaughlin. pretty awesome. Also, of course, we've been seeing clips of all the viral stuff, like the guy running pole vaulting over to his girlfriend. 
Okay, I definitely am getting this too close to my eyes because my eyes are starting to water. And what was the other thing that was going viral? Oh, my eyes are starting to water too. It's because there's lemon juice in this. You gotta be careful. <laughs> the other thing that was going viral? Mm. Oh, the guy, the pommel horse guy. Oh, yeah. Also, just wanted to... This is more than enough. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, I just wanted to talk about some of my recent faves, like, um, grapes. Okay, grapes are so in season right now, mm, and they're, they're so, so delicious. delicious. I used to hate grapes up until, like, yeah, Chelly literally used to two hate weeks grapes. Ago. Like, she would never eat them, and then we got a big pack from Costco, and they're just delicious right now, especially with they're a so little juicy. string cheese <laughs> and pretzels. It's like, you feel like you're just, like, an like Egyptian Egyptian princess. princess. <laughs> mm. Mm, yes. And also balsamic glaze it's another thing i've really been liking just like drizzling that on top of my avocado it makes avocado like 10 times better especially because i think avocado is out of season right now or maybe all of our avocados are just gross basically swore off avocado toast for a little bit and then i got balsamic glaze and now i just i just love avocado toast with some balsamic drizzle on top also we're in our um cold water era oh, yeah, we have our wallace you haven't seen our wallace yet <laughs> where have you been you haven't officially introduced our wallows on our channel. This was my lifeline while I was sick. I was just chugging mm. water, chugging water, cold water. Just was the only thing that get me through. And God, of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ice cold water is just my Where my new obsession. Left it's so hot right now. It's just like the August dry heat mm -hmm. and just a cold glass with like the ice jing jingling around inside there. Oh, it's just so refreshing. I made a little journal spread for all of my favorites. What else have I been liking? It's crushing movies. We're also in our crushing movies era. I don't know if we've talked about that before, but we're watching like all of the classics like Paris Bueller Day Off, so um, the Newsies. Red. Our Hanes socks that we got on Amazon. I, okay, my journey with socks is a long story. I used to never wear socks. <laughs> like even with tennis shoes, I would just go barefoot, which now that I think about it, that's pretty gross. And I everyone would tell me I was a girl. girl. I didn't like, they suffocated my feet. That's what it felt like. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I was just like, no, I need more socks. So I started implementing that into my life, but I didn't have any socks. So I only had like two pairs of socks and they all got holes in them by like the second day. So then I got, I spent my, my big girl money on some socks on Amazon some and thick Hanes ankle socks. And they're perfect for, I'll put the name of them or something right here because they're so, they're called like comfy soft socks or something like that and they have little pink canes on them they're just cute little ankle socks that don't slide down they're so comfortable and cute and cheap great purchase wearing no makeup great that's in that's that is so in. in i just moisturizer sunscreen chapstick like tinted chapstick all over my face wherever i need color mm -hmm. lips done okay. i don't wear mascara and then i don't have to wash it off in the shower and i don't have to care about rubbing my eyes i just just it's all so natural. Freeing. It's so freeing. I mean, of course, when, like when I go to work or when I go to it just events, like, events, outdoors. I'll put on makeup. But like, mostly I don't wear makeup because like I want to look beautiful or something. It's just because it's fun most of the time. Yeah. So and when I'm so not when I started like doing it. it like every single day, like it had to be a part of my day. It became less fun and more of like a chore. Yeah. So now it's just natural. Vibe. This week is our last week of summer, and that's really sad. But we took off work for most of the week, so we're gonna be really trying to soak it in, and, and the priorities are having fun, chilling, making money. <laughs> making money a <laughs> little bit. The, that's the last priority for this week. So we're not making that much money this week, but you know, sometimes you gotta have your gotta priorities. sacrifice for your fun. And this is my layout this week. I did a summertime sadness layout, and I thought it came together really well, so I wanted to share it. It's really giving Lana Del Rey. Also, I just love when a layout comes together well these days, because I do it with, all with stickers. So when the stickers just speak to my vision, it's like a godmo because I, who knows, I'm going to have the right stickers, you know? So I even have stickers that say, kiss me hard before you go, summertime sadness. And then I have like these moon and these twilight scenes that are kind of melancholic. <laughs> and this is because we're going to Disneyland on this day. We're going to the beach on this. We get our Disneyland pass this week. <laughs> and back this week and I'm so excited for that long summer block out date break we get to go back to Disneyland and then we also get to go to the beach so there's a pause for this week but 
I think I'm gonna apply a little bit more of this cooling gel onto my face and then put some cucumbers on my eyes and we're gonna do a little bit of a relaxation session. We're gonna listen to, you know, the app Howl. It's like a Catholic meditation app. Pretty good. For <laughs> times like this. <laughs> give <a> Catholic <laughs> also if you didn't notice we didn't end up getting the shower because we decided that's gonna be the last step of our spa time we're gonna get in the shower and then take a nap yeah, so, so, we'll, <laughs> so we'll wash this off in the shower and then we'll take a nap but right now cucumbers on my eyes meditation Glowy in my skin. ears quiet silent time with jesus now i'm gonna do some journal prompts prioritizing spiritual life in your important spa time is very important i also want to talk about this little book that i'm reading right now i'm actually reading the way to happiness by fulton sheen everyone should read it it's very concise good it only has 37 chapters that are two pages long each and <laughs> they're just it's the way to happiness like it shows that truth leads to happiness and and jesus is the way the truth of life. like that kind of is like the theme and it goes through the truth of everything pretty much covers all the bases so if you're looking for a good little like self-help catholic just faith filling edifying book that's a good one yeah and on that topic i just got this little book in the mail it's called the practice of the presence you bought that yeah i did it was only four dollars it's gonna just be buying stuff all the time it's only four dollars <laughs> okay i wanted the real coffee i literally never buy stuff just yeah really instead she just makes us drive all the way across town to go to the library to get books like just buy it no i don't want it in my collection it's called the practice of the presence of god and it's by brother lawrence I actually saw it on Pinterest, and it said it was like someone saying that it changed their life, and it's very good. It's all about just being in the presence of God all the time and acting through Him all the time. I hear that a lot, saints and stuff yeah. in readings of just like be in the presence of God. What does that really mean? And in this, He really makes it's it more clear, practical. Like, it's just like just think about God in everything about when you're about to do anything. Just think about God. When you're trying to glorify God. It's like. Cindy McLaughlin. <laughs> yeah, it's like Cindy McLaughlin. <laughs> anything that you're doing, just think about you him. And if you don't, if you forget it, about him for a little bit, he's not, he's not holding it against you. But you just, you know, you just have to glance up at God every once in a while and and, and know that you're glorifying Him through what you're doing. And if what you're doing isn't worthy to glorify Him, then it's then, probably a good then sign. You shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. It says that in this too. Like, just cut anything else, anything out that's not leading you to Him. So this book is really good, and it's also talking a lot about just being in the just sitting and meditating in the presence of god instead of like filling your time with a bunch of prayers or a bunch of activity just sit in god's presence and think about because him. god can work on you more than you can work on god mm -hmm. so yes that's very much the topic of this book um and this book is also very short it's only 90 pages like i could finish this all today if i wanted to but yeah just i wanted to talk about that because we're about to do this little meditation just and yeah, just being Spirit. spiritual well-being is very important as well as physical well-being. Mm -hmm. So we're feeling all stretched out, and now we're gonna mentally recollect mm -hmm. and put some cucumbers in our eyes. <laughs> kind of thick, but like. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, there's something so nostalgic about the smell of cucumber. Oh uh. yeah. <laughs> Today's session. As we begin, let's start with some deep breaths. Another monthly favorite, my hair being long enough to go into a break. 